getting close to landing in uh, in New York. Just uh, finally got a little sleep on this flight from uh, London to New York City. One hour sleep in London in the 24 hours I was there was a little tough, so got in four. And the last three hours I've been pounding on my email. Something interesting I've been thinking about, thought I would share right now, which is the notion of not doing email uh, when you're actually at home base. It's funny how little email or actual do work or what I would call defensive work, responding to things that are second or third or fourth or fifth tier priority just to get them done. I tend to save those with the use of my assistant, uh, Tyler, for, um, for moments like this where I have downtime on the flight. It's interesting to me that it takes um, a long flight for me to really catch up with something that I think a lot of people prioritize. So just a little fun fact, I figured that I'm going daily, share some of like the small little tactics that have allowed me to scale. A lot of people ask for the details. I think one of the details is um, categorizing what's actually important and um, has to be done right away and, and pushing the things that are not as important further down the line so that when you're in your day to day, you're able to actually have the meetings and interact with the people that are actually driving your business. I think there's a huge um, lack of understanding that spec meetings, biz dev meetings, HR meetings, um, they get pushed back um, as not valuable time. You know, what's that meeting really, you know, why are you taking this potentially good meeting when you've got things to do or let HR handle that when people are your most important asset um, or there's only a, you know, you do a favor for a friend who is a real friend or a real business partner. Just think that people don't prioritize a lot of those things when they're the actual things you should be doing. And so, uh, and then when you actually have downtime, like on this flight, on this flight, I'm not meeting anybody except maybe my crew here. And so that's when I should be getting to the things that I think a lot of other pri- people prioritize as like, we gotta get this done. Yeah, it could wait two or three days. Um, and so uh, that's what I just did in the flight. Now I'm about to land. Um, uh, and uh, head over to VaynerMedia's office, have two important kind of uh, employee meetings around some business opportunities. Then I'm gonna be with uh, a uh, potentially our first uh, Vayner Sports Draft Class 2017 signing. And then AJ and I are gonna go to uh, the Knicks game and listen to this on repeat for the last four hours. Notes, what up? Notes. Uh, man, it's like good ain't good enough. So you gotta be great, and I'ma do whatever it takes. Giving you my all, every take. Play field to the top, won't sever my fate. Can't sit around and wait. Gotta go get it if you want it. I'm still trying to figure out how. Pops always asking, what's gonna happen? When I ain't here, you'll be the man of the house. So I gotta grow up every day, I sip the floor. As of right now, shit ain't paying these bills. But if I was working out to five, like seven days a week. One of the great wastes of time in my life right now, reviewing daily Vs to make sure one little thing didn't slip in that might be a comms issue or leak something or hurt somebody or hurt something or offend someone or stir the pot too much. Hate it. All right. Hate it. I like the window open. I feel like I'm a dog. It's nice. Global warming is real. No windows open December 2nd in 1984. Hundred percent, we're going. Okay, cool. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Today's gonna be a big day. This is, this is why Daily Me is so awesome. We are signing our first player of the 2017 draft class and the timing that AJ and I bought into and bought Symmetry Sports. This is, you know, Vernon and a bunch of other guys from Sadat last year, but we kind of inherited that process. This was our first coast to coast process. This is kind of like in a, uh, a really exciting moment. This is really our first um, player we're signing as a complete Vayner Sports entity. I met, uh, um, met Jalen and um, in uh, Tennessee when I was in Chattanooga. Were you with me that day? Nope. No. This is exciting for me. This will be a big moment. Look how good New York looks. It's rock.
There's a wall there. <laughs> it's, it's a good looking wall. <laughs> Bang, motherfucker. <laughs> Something good happened. That's fucking awesome. Ugh. Why you keep me guys around? I just landed from London. I'm walking into the Vayner Media office. <laughs> just living the dream. I am, I agree. Hold, hold, hold on one second. What's that? Can you take a picture with you? Sure, what's your name? I'm Bianca. Bianca, I'm Gary. I, like I started following you on Instagram recently. Thank you. You've been very inspirational. Do you work here? I do, I work at Coach. Where are you guys going? VaynerMedia, that's my company. We work here too. Well, that, that <laughs> makes sense. I'll probably <laughs> see you again. Um. Have a good weekend. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Hey. No, 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 no. I, I just love human beings. Just a, I'm a human being lover. You? Those gray ones are there. Nice. You like them? I'm gonna put them on right now then. What's up, Brian? Long travel day. Yeah, I was just in London five minutes ago. Yo. What? You got, you need me for two seconds? <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Fine. What about before that? It won't go, and I feel like it's because I have drafts. Until I'm done with the drafts? Would that be possible? I don't think so, because I thought I got some off. Hey guys. That's my intuition. You know what I mean? You got two seconds? Because I know I'm not going to catch you before the end of the year. Yeah, I'll have two seconds. Go hang around there. I'll be back. What's going on? Hey, I'm Paul. Paul, such a pleasure. I'm aware. It looks so much nicer than that black and white photo that scares. <laughs> literally, is giving me night. That photo has given me nightmares. What are you guys doing? We are talking about their group. Good. Creative. It's kind of the first one of all of them. So my big thing is that I think the, the creative scope can be even bigger than we've been anticipating. I think we haven't yet talked about very very large, but we are basically trying to set ourselves up for a third. Pillar of creators. That's the entire conversation, just so everybody knows. The entire conversation is to get as much, whatever I get, let's say was right, and let's say it ends up being my preference would be that million in video production for, like basically, if you really think about it, for us to pull off what, we, what our ambition is, we just basically have to move the market to believe that our three minute and seven second, our 19 second, our four minute and nine second, our one minute and eight second videos on Facebook are the alternative to TBZ. <laughs> Hi. This is Franny, my youngest It's a daughter. pleasure, it's really nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, such a pleasure. She's off today and she was thinking about being a marketing major. So I said, all right, why don't you come in and I'll show you what it's like oh, if you want to be a marketing major. <laughs> yeah, I've know, been to so like five so other companies with my dad, awesome. by far the best one. Yeah. Uh, that would make sense to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She liked, she been to so Saatchi, Interbrand, Cedo, and she said, dad, this, this is, is the best, best one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were shucking oysters it's also in the kitchen. It's also 20 years younger on average. <laughs> yeah. How are you? How are you doing? I'm Tom. It's Tom, nice to meet you. Tom, real man. pleasure, man. I just wanted to say hello. Hello. Oh, I didn't think Hi, I was going to be here. Lisa, how are you? Nice to meet you. I was in London Indeed, and yeah. it got here and the jet stream did us a favor. So <laughs> I figured I'd say hello. How nice. are things? Yeah, good, man. Good, how man. about you? Here. How's it going? My man. What's up, what's up? How are you? Good, how you Good to see you. Good to see you 
this is, I'm so pumped. <laughs> I'm not even sure, I might be just as excited as you guys. This is cool. How are you, my man? Real pleasure. I'm, I'm chilling, man. Absolutely. Congratulations. Man, this is a big day. Like, you know, obviously we came in kind of like you were already done with the draft process. I'm like, yeah. this is really, for me, this is the first one. Yeah, first I'm really excited. I'm really excited. So I'm, we feel really honored. It feels, it was crazy. I don't know if you've been thinking about it. I was so much thinking about that meeting today. I was like, it's just so crazy. I don't know. I feel very blessed and honored and we're very humbled. And I, I just, I'm so confident in what, what value we're going to bring here. And I know how different we are. And, um, Heck, I think Jalen might end up making more money post his playing career giving public speeches of being the first guy that signed with this new form debater thing. Like this is, we're really gonna change it. And so we're very humbled you guys trust us and I just wanna thank all three of you so much. Go ahead. (laughs) I'm pumped, I'm so excited. I don't know, like this is awesome. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. We just signed our first guy. So pumped. I'm so pumped. Like, it's such a big deal. All right, all right. The pitch is, I already told you, Pat Riley. Yep. You know what he does? I yep. told you. Yes. Yeah, so on the table. I know. Yep. Win a championship. Yes. When you win the Masters, you get a green jacket. Yes. I'm trying to create something that's kind of like an iconic. Yep. Historical reference to when you sign with Vayner Sports. Yep. Anybody signs with Vayner Sports? I think a cool thing for Jalen is that he can be the first one to do it. Go ahead. So, I think honestly, maybe the biggest differentiator for us as an agency is the concept of like we want to break this industry. We're gonna go uh-huh. different. We're gonna do different things. And the real way for us to do that is to help you do that. If our players don't break the mold and break the industry and break the barriers, they're not gonna be successful. We're not gonna be successful. What we write on it is things that they have to overcome. And this is a little bit weird, but what I did here on this one was I took direct verbatim scouting feedback. And I told you, we got great, like great kid, second to fourth round. But when you get feedback, it's objective. Two things that were said, but he's dealing with injuries in reference to your shoulder. Size is his biggest issue. I think you know that and aware of that. So these are the things, like imagine Russell Wilson had this thing that says, too small to play quarterback in the league, right? And then what we're gonna do with this is you're gonna shatter it, we're gonna keep it, we're gonna display it at the office, and then we're gonna give it to you when your career's over. Hopefully 15, 20 years from now. What? That's what the feedback from what mm-hmm. Yeah, so like Different I said, scouts. I thought about him putting what he think he needs We to thought do. about, you know, we played with that, we thought about that too. I think, uh, you, you, I think they could add one thing. Yeah, you got, got room? We got room. That's I mean, a good idea. You know what? I'm gonna get a show. I, that's a really good that. idea. Uh-huh. Wind up, it's a good clock. Right, right in the middle. Right in the middle. Yes! Clean! Clean, clean in mind. I am pumped up. I have to. That was fun. You know where I sit, right? Hey, it's a couple hours. You coming Monday? Yeah. My man. You look cool. Trying. The hat, yeah, the shave. You feel you feel yeah. cool to me today. We're not rooting for the wolves tonight. You're definitely getting on TV with that. What the hell? I'll see you in the morning. Hit me up in the morning. Okay, I will. Okay. Have a good weekend. See you later. Thank you. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Right. Sounds yeah. good dude. Gary. What's up, brother? How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, well? Yeah. I, me too. It's on the side. It's actually the way we go. Really good. That was such a high. You know, when you know you're birthing. <laughs> you just saved my life, D-Rock. Feeling really good. You know, first of all, quick little walk to the garden. Haven't done this yet, so I'm excited about that. Oh, D Rock, look at that. They're, they're doing the. What is that? Like. What are you pointing at? <laughs> the guy who's doing the, the drilling. The, oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, it's cool. They're welding. Welding, that's what I was looking for. Welding. Feeling great, man. Super excited about signing Jalen. He's a great kid. How are you going to the game? Yep. Nice. Everybody's in the building. Just sitting here trying to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do for Daily V tomorrow. I'm not used to doing Saturday. It's family time, so. It's only once a year. 
We're gonna come up with something clever, maybe a Q&A, and then we'll film it. We gotta come up with some, we gotta text tonight, D-Rock. Yeah, I think we'll see Go to my sister's tomorrow for some early Hanukkah stuff, so. I'm not worried about He doesn't work.